Every time I walk onto House of Common Grounds, speak in these chambers, I'm reminded every step of the way I don't belong here. I have never felt safe or protected in my position, especially within the House of Commons. Often having pep talks with myself in the elevator or taking a moment in the bathroom stall to maintain my composure. When I walk through these doors, not only am I reminded of the clear colonial house on fire I am willingly walking into, I am already in survival mode. Since being elected, I expect to be stopped by security at my workplace. I've had security jog after me down hallways nearly put their hands on me and racial profile me as a member of parliament. I know what to do in these situations. My life in Canada, and especially through this experience, has taught me many things. As a brown wo woman, do not move too quickly or suddenly. Do not raise your voice. Do not make a scene. Maintain eye contact and don't hide your hands. Every Inuk has survival mode. We have to. No, not two generations ago, survival mode meant endurance of extreme temperatures and finding food throughout the winter. Now survival mode means being able to see that warmth in shelter and affordability in livelihood, but being denied it at the hands of the federal government. The federal institution needs to change its own policies and procedures to reflect, reflect reality instead of creating barriers for people like me. I shouldn't be afraid of going into work. No one should be afraid of going into work. It is possible to create change. It can be started here in the House of Commons and reflected in Canada. There is a refusal and unwillingness for change, not an an inability to accomplish it. People don't like me don't belong here in the federal institution. I'm a human being who wants to use this institution to help people, but the reality is that this institution and the country has been created off the backs, trauma and displacement of indigenous people.